Hi, I'm about to begin my own full home renovation. It's always been something on my bucket list to do. And I finally got the opportunity. We just bought a home. And um, I just wanted to go through and show week by week what it's really like to fully renovate your home pretty much on your own. I, um, I love watching HGTV shows and um, even here on YouTube, love watching shows um, that shows the transformation of design in any kind of space. But a lot of it's just quickly going through and going from A to Z. And I wanted um, to do something where every week I show you what it's like to be your own general contractor, what it's like to do most of the work yourself, working with contractors, and doing your own design. So um, all the issues we're going to run into, all the problems, um, the good and the bad, just week by week, what it looks like to actually do your own full home renovation. So we actually bought the house. It's, um, it's beautiful. It's a 1930s Tudor style home and it's got great bones. It just needs a lot of, I mean, it needs a full renovation. I talk on my website a little bit about what it looks like to actually get ready to do the renovation, um, budget, how to buy additions versus renovation and spending more on square footage. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the link below. I'm not going to go into it too much here. I just want to do an introduction of what our house looks like before we start doing transformation so you can get a base start. And I've already done a little bit of designing too, so I'm going to go through and show that while we walk through the house. I designed all my um, mini, mini plans in SketchUp. It's a great um, software that does 2D and 3D and you do have a free version. So I first made just a floor plan of the original house by measuring it out and putting it into the um, program. Then I looked at different types of plans with attic stairs or moving the basement stairs, um, different things to kind of see um, how I want the floor to lay out and what I could realistically do with the house. Here are a few more just looking at um, different options for um, the layout for the final piece. I even looked into redoing the attic, um, looked at some building codes. I actually didn't measure it right. It's quite a bit bigger than this and it might be something I do to redo down the road in like phase three, four, or five. This is a sketch up I did of the kitchen, so some 3D um, modeling of the space just to get a feel for it. I went through many, many renditions of this, tried, you know, glass um, inserts in the cabinets and um, what kind of feel I was going for. Then I went over and I kind of retouched it up, um, made it a little more streamlined, but I still wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with the oven. Um, it just, it's not a big space, so going through design you know, um, minimums and and how to figure out a good flow of the workspace took quite a while. I also worked on quite a few of the island options and how I wanted that to look with the limited space. It needs to be long and thin. And then I came to my final. I did a few more um, renditions of the wall area and then um, brought it in and decided to do a wall microwave combo. And then I have the coffee bar right there. And then on the other side, I um, decided to just do a range in that area. I still don't know if I like the hood design. I might just leave that open. But just really getting a feel for the space. And I am using IKEA cabinets. And I put the actual sizes in there to get perfect. So then I came and I um, did a final layout of what that looks like and put it into an actual plan. This is still all SketchUp. And um, did the measurements of it. And first we're going to look at the living room and the kitchen, which is right now the dining room. So as you can see, it's a long, narrow space. We have some beautiful arches um, to have that Tudor, but also a little bit of a Spanish feel. I have an entryway with a lot of the arcways kind of continued without. The fireplace has some beautiful terracotta tiles. Again, nodding to that Spanish feel that I'm going to try to keep throughout the house. I do love those details. And the rooms do have a lot of nice natural light and original hardware under the carpet, so I'm hoping to keep that. Next is the two bedrooms upstairs and the only bathroom we have right now. And this is the first bedroom that is going to become an office. I'm going to be putting um, double doors behind it to open up into the living room. And this is the second, which is the master. It's very small. This door is going to be the entry into the new master bath. And on this opposite wall, we're going to open it up into a master closet. 
Here's our only bathroom. It's going to be turned into a powder room. It has another beautiful um, arch in there that I'm going to close off and the shower will become the master closet. Now we're heading into what is now the kitchen. It's a long, narrow space kind of tucked into the back. This back wall is going to be part of the master bath. And then the rest of the space is going to become a dining room. Heading into the basement, we, um, there's actually a lot of natural light coming in from the doorway, but the entry is very short, only about 5455. Five, five. I've hit my head on it multiple times, so I'm going to be raising that up to code just for a better um, experience into the basement. So. This area is the living room and the new bathroom. So this area is going to all become just living space and it's going to open up. I'll show you later. And this space is all going to become a full bathroom. The laundry and the new living space is this area. So this back part is all going to be open up to the living room. And this area is going to become a large utility room and closet. And this little dungeon space to the side is going to open up and become part of that large laundry room. The last part are the two bedrooms. Right now it's just one large bedroom with kind of a den space or sitting space on the side. But both of these are going to be closed off and become two actual bedrooms with closets and egress windows. So that is our original house walkthrough. I um, wanted you to see just where we're starting from and then so you can see the transformation week by week and all the design changes we have to do and the issues we run into. So I'm really excited that you can come on that journey with me and I'm excited to be able to document it just for me so I can watch the changes. And um, if you wanna follow on this journey, I would love for you to subscribe. You can like this video and follow along week by week so you can see the changes. So thank you so much for watching.